ladies and gentlemen, the Shred Gamer Tidicom video. I'm going to be showing you guys down sampling for NVIDIA cards, also known as OGSSAA. That's Ordered Grid Super Sampling Anti Aliasing. So, what does this do? Well, in a nutshell, and I will be showing you a little bit of gameplay at the end of this, although it's not really going to do it justice, um, simply because of how. Uh, YouTube compression works. I'm also going to be doing an article pretty soon as well as more bits and pieces on this and it's going to also be coming for AMD cards in the not too distant future. But basically the purpose of this is let's say for example you have a 1080p display. Well what you can do with that display is actually force the game to run it in a high resolution that's not supported but what happens is your GPU will downscale that resolution to fit your particular screen. Now this basically means you're performing a certain type of super sampling which is incredible image quality. I will warn you this is quite taxing for the GPU. I'm using a GTX 780 Ti or Ti however you wish to pronounce it but certainly you could do it with like a different card, for example you could use like the GTX 670 or whatever as long as obviously you can maintain an acceptable uh, frame rate in that game. In fact with this method you can actually even add a different anti-aliasing method on top of this, for example FXAA or what have you and it looks pretty darn impressive. So, you'll notice that I've uh, launched NVIDIA control panel. I'm using 332 something. I don't remember the exact uh, number of the driver. Apologies, but you know, there's so many from NVIDIA. So it's pretty much the latest that's available as this date. So, what does one do to, um, well, to utilize this? Well, first thing you need to do is you need to load up NVIDIA control panel and you need to go to adjust desktop display and position. Now, I've got exactly the settings that you need. Um, you'll have to do this per screen if you've got dual monitors. I'm only doing it for the first screen. So just make sure you've got these settings. You need aspect ratio and you need to perform the scaling on the GPU. Um, don't ask me why it says 1360 is the native resolution of this 1080p display. I have absolutely no idea. And just make sure the override scaling mode set by games and programs is enabled because otherwise you're going to be having a bit of a problem. Next, go to change resolution. Now, you'll notice that I do indeed have a custom resolution set there. Now we can set whatever resolutions we like. Uh, for example, you could put in a 4K resolution. I'm simply going to be uh, demonstrating with the 1440. Um, you can simply click customize and that will pop up. Uh, you have to make sure enable resolutions not exposed by the display is indeed ticked. Now what we can do, we can actually edit this just simply by clicking that. And you can follow my um, settings exactly. If you want, for example, 1440, you don't want to really mess with the timings on this. You want to leave everything as default, you know, just leave them as automatic, but you, and as well as uh, refresh rate. Obviously your refresh rate is going to depend on, for example, if you've got 120 hertz display, you know, just be warned obviously you're going to be impacted with the extra performance loss associated with this higher uh, pixel quality. So, um, First things first, you need to set the horizontal and the vertical width. Now, I would suggest starting this with 1440. Now, if I press test, bad things are going to happen. But what will basically happen is the, the, the display will try to test that resolution. So test it out. Now, if it doesn't display, uh, we'll go into that. But what should happen is, basically speaking, uh, the text will look really small on screen and it will look basically like you've zoomed out of your desktop even more because obviously pretty much the resolution isn't uh, the native resolution. Now if that works, choose OK and what you'll find is that um, you'll be able to just, you know, select OK, go through the whole screen. As I said, I don't want to risk it because I'm recording my screen at the moment and obviously I don't want to impact that negatively in case it uh, messes up the recording procedure. But after you've done that, if it, if it goes well, 
what you're free to then do is to basically keep creating custom resolutions. For example, you could have, oh, I don't know, I'm just making this up, like 3,600 by 2,025 or whatever. You can just create, create the custom resolutions however you would like. Just make sure, obviously, they fit into the aspect ratio that you need. Now, there are a couple of caveats that I do want to go into. I'm using Windows 8. Uh, actually, technically, I'm using 8.1. Some people have issues with this with Windows 8. I don't know why. Maybe it's the driver version. I personally am absolutely fine with this with my Windows 8.1. And um, as I said, the video is free, free to drivers. Similarly, some people have reported issues regarding if they are doing this with um, mobile display. So, for example, laptops. I don't have one to test it on. I don't have a laptop with NVIDIA GPU to test this on. Personally, can't comment. Some people have issues. Some people don't. But anyway, um, if basically you get a blank screen when you try your custom resolution and it doesn't work, the best thing you can do is simply... Best, the best thing you can really try is to maybe just press escape and maybe try a different custom resolution. For example, uh, maybe different uh, frequency or different refresh rate rather. Maybe try a different horizontal resolution and just tr keep trying a couple out. Obviously, I can't fault test everyone. If someone's having a particular issue, you could message me on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash regamertech or maybe leave a comment on the video. But I don't typically respond to comments simply because we have so many of them. I will try to you, however but as I said um, that's pretty much all there is to it so what I'm going to do in just a moment is show you guys some gameplay so hopefully you found it useful and I'll show you what exactly happens in a second okay so we're into crisis free I don't know why I loaded crisis but I suppose it's just as good as any so in here we have 2560 by 1440 that's a custom resolution now I could go higher but I'm just using this as an example you could, by all means, choose any anti-aliasing you would like. I'm just simply using FXAA. But you can, for example, use MSAA times 8 if you want. Just for the record, and I'm doing a full review of the GTX 780 Ti that I've got. That's the EVGA version. Just in case you're wondering what the type of performance you get with this card. Um, you can actually run MSAA times 8 with 1440, so 1440p. But you, of course, get much lower frame rates. You get you know, kind of mid to, well, yeah, you basically again like high 20s to like low 30s, which is probably not really acceptable. But anyway, um, I'm just going to click on resume game, actually. I'm not going to uh, bother to play super amounts. I'm just literally just going to load it up for you. As I said, for the purposes of YouTube compression, it's not too much to worry about. There's not super amounts of quality difference, most likely. I will most likely in the next couple of days. Sorry, guys, I keep saying most likely, which is extremely irritating. Um, I will be also doing a full article on this as well, so you can check that out on Red Gaming Tech in the next couple of days, which will include some super high quality screenshots. What this does do, though, oh, actually, and welcome to the jungle level, simply because I've been doing so much bloody frame rate testing. Now, in uh, Crisis, or at least, oh, balls, I'm already getting shot to shit. Um, I'm not going to be playing for too long. I'm just going to show you the guys, the you know, how it looks and all. Um, so, as it turns out, um, yeah, you actually get a pretty decent frame rate. As for performance, what type of performance can you be thinking this is going to be? Well, it's basically going to be a one-to-one a one-to-one -one performance. So, primarily speaking, let's assume that you're running, um, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. The resolution I am. It's going to pretty much be like you're running at that resolution natively. So, in effect, if your card... I love how things are just randomly falling on my head. Um, in effect, if your card scores well at like high resolutions, you'll be okay. If, for example, if you're playing on something that is not particularly taxing, um, I would use like Bioshock Infinite as a pretty great example, particularly uh, if you don't have like uh, depth of field and that type of thing enabled. Then you're definitely going to be able to run this. Uh, 
you know, a pretty decent resolution. I'll just play for a few more seconds and then I'm going to call the video because I think most of you will get an idea now of exactly what to do with this. I personally think this is a really cool little method, particularly if some games on PC have pretty sucky anti-aliasing. It also works with like older games as well. I do understand that some people, I'm just letting myself get shot to absolute buggery here, which isn't really ideal. Um, sweet. Well, I didn't like the train anyway. Perhaps it's the British Rail. So anyway, yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. If you've got the GPU to do it, then even like FXAA with this, it's pretty much like saying, okay, well, we're going to have like super sample anti-aliasing with like uh, FXAA. And you can go crazy with it. You can have, as I said, like MSAA um, or any of them, really. It's completely up to you. It just means that quite simply you're going to need that, um, that uh, GPU to handle it. But certainly speaking... You can go absolutely crazy with this game, and it does really look the part if you've got the GPU to do it. And as I said, it works with pretty much anything because it's just a game. Any game that allows you to set a, set a resolution, uh, you know, obviously there are a few, particularly indie ports, that don't really let you set a particular resolution. It will be like, yeah, okay, well, you know, it's going to run at native desktop or whatever. That could be more of a problem. But for situations where that's not really the case, and you can pretty much choose whatever the hell you would like, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Uh, then you're basically golden, you know, you're good to go. And so, it's well worth it, as I said, if you've got the if you've got the GPU to do it. So, what else will be? Well, in the next day, it was supposed to be today, guys, to be honest, the GTX 780 tie review. But, unfortunately, I've just been really busy um, doing a bunch of stuff, and... I felt absolutely crap when I came back from the gym today, to be honest. Um, I'm on a bit of a calorie deficit at the moment because basically I just went for a bulking season. So I'm like trying to cut and I'm on low calories, which absolutely sucks and destroys my energy. And I just had like no energy coming back from the gym. So that, that kind of sucked and slowed me down. So I can only apologize for that. I'll just be, I'll just be totally honest with you. That's my bad. Um, so that will be happening tomorrow and there'll be lots and lots of images I'm also going to be doing like an extreme overclocking guide for the GTX 780 which is going to include like BIOS flashing um, how to do that it'll also work for other G-forces as well uh, for example the Titan and the 780s but I'm primarily going to be focused on the TIE because that's one of the one I own currently um, and yeah there will be other bits and pieces coming up soon as well as you would expect so hopefully you've enjoyed the video um, Definitely try it. Definitely try out um, this method, the OG SSA. It's actually ridiculously fun and looks really pretty. As I said, there will be a um, written tutorial tomorrow as well. I would was hoping to get it up today with a review, but as I said, I just felt like absolute crap uh, early on, and now I'm like kind of buzzing with energy towards the evening, which is not ideal since I've got work early in the morning. Anyway, I shall stop regaling you with my tales of woe, and I shall leave you all to it. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video, my good sir or good lady. I will see you soon. Take care and bye for now.